And then now let's talk about three plus two, um, which is the general uh, or five axis indexing where you can machine multi-sided parts. Uh, you can have parts uh, at any side, any number of sides, and you can set up different coordinate systems and come at it from different orientations and machine that. And all of that can be done in a single job inside our CAM system and all the simulations can be performed. Uh, the posting can be performed, like I mentioned before, all, all in one job with multiple setups. And uh, Don is going to be showing an example of this. Next slide, please. Yeah, again, uh, you can set independent work zeros uh, as you orient the part, or rather the orient the work coordinate system in different orientations, you can actually set the work zero origins as well independently or move move them and and machine. And then, as I mentioned, you can simulate toolpaths from all of these directions that you've set up. And then uh, finally, the posting. We post process the whole thing in either one file, and if your machine is capable of handling the rotations, you can do it all in one file. Or if you have a manual rotary table, then you can rotate the table and and post them to different files and send them out. Uh, okay, so this is the cylinder head part that you saw uh, in the slideshow. And you, you can see uh, it's got features on uh, three sides, the top, the right, and the left. And we got these uh, fin slots here that we got to program as well. And that's going to be taken care of uh, in the uh, top orientation. So let's, we already got this programmed out. So let's just go through it from the top and uh, we'll show you how it's done. So your initial setup one is, is oriented at zero, zero, zero with your Z up. That's your, your typical standard orientation. And then we just put a work zero at the top and we do uh, our operations for that side. So we got a face top. Oh, I also want to mention this face top. It's a new feature that we added in uh, 2021. And let's just go in here real quick and I'll show it to you. Uh, the face top operation, you'll notice that there's no control geometry tab. That's because in face top, it, it understands already where the part is and where your stock is. And it's going to put the face facing operation at the top of your part automatically. So you don't need to do anything. You don't need to select anything. For uh, feeds and speeds, clearance, those are all standard cup parameters. Similar to facing, um, you can tell it here a step over distance, whether you want to do just in one pass. If you have a face mill that's used large enough, you can cut just the top in one pass. You can go just one pass or uh, if, if you want one pass, you check the box for one pass. And if you want multiple passes, uncheck that and just give it a step over. And for the cut direction, this is a uh, standard cut direction is climb, conventional mixed. And you can, uh, if you want to compute the optimum cut angle, let the program compute it, or you can tell it what angle uh, to cut at. And start point, just, you know, whether you want it uh, at the top, start at the top, or start at the bottom. Here's an interesting feature here. We can offset, if you want to make the, the facing operation wider than the, the width of your part in either the X uh, or the Y, uh, you can add some additional offset lengths uh, to uh, the program. And then cut levels, you can contain your Z top, you contain your part top. In other words, you don't. If you want to use different parameters in Z than what your stock and what your part is, you can enter them here by uh, unchecking this and enter the Z that you want to use in each uh, part as the stock and the part. And then also you can control your step down uh, in Zs. In the uh, entry and exit, that's typical for facing. Uh, same here. So when we have uh, multiple step overs for this one. So let's move on to the horizontal roughing, which basically rough, we're doing one roughing operation up with the entire uh, part. And then we have our profiling to do our slots. And we're using a face mill cutter 
combined with profiling uh, to cut these slots. And additional uh, program for the center hole, uh, the pocketing operation, we're boring out uh, the cylinder head bore, and we got some additional profiles for this upper lip here, and additional profiles, and additional profiles for the bottom. Now, notice the orientation of the coordinate system, okay? That's your standard uh, position, default position, as far as orientation, that matches our machine coordinate system orientation. But what we're going to do in uh, setup two, the right side, when we create the setup, you use these controls here to orient your X, Y, and Z to the direction that you want to machine. So you can see here that we have our Z pointing to the right, and our X is if we rotate it this way, you'll see what I'm talking about. The Z is, is on the, to the right or toward you in this orientation, X and then Y. So in this orientation, we're gonna do another face top. We're gonna to do a standard drill, a brake chip, a hole profiling, and then for the side three, the left side, note the orientation of the coordinate system. Z is to the left, X uh, is to the front, and Y is to the top. And we create another work zero here. And you don't really need these other work zeros in uh, index uh, five axis machining because once you set it up and do your first work zero, your machine tool based on your setups are gonna handle the angles and everything. And then we have another face top uh, over here. Okay, so let's, let's simulate this. Since we talked about simulating um, in index machining, you can simulate and see the simulations in all orientations uh, at one time. And Joe mentioned that, uh, went over that pretty, uh, pretty good at the pre in the presentation, is that you can see the entire part uh, as it's machined uh, for each setup in one part file. So let's go ahead and do some simulating. Let's just take a look at our parameters, make sure they're set the way we want. And let's go ahead and simulate setup one. So we got our facing at the top, and then we got our roughing. And then we got our, our hole roughing in the middle. And then it's going to do some profiling. So that's a finished profile on the outer side. We've got a finished profile at the top, two axis pocket for the bore, and then the drag bore, and then the profiling with the facing cutter for each side. This is all in setup one, the default setup. So now we're going to go to the right side, do the facing uh, in the that went pretty, pretty pretty quick. We did the face top, and then we did the, the standard drill, the pilot drill, then we did a brake chip drill, and then we did the whole profiling to finish this hole out on this side. And then on the left is very similar. Let's slow this down a little bit. Let's turn that around. So we got our facing, and that's all we need to do on that side. So basically now, three setups, uh, all of the angles are controlled by your setup orientations. Uh, you can see all of the ang all of the directions being uh, simulated in one um, machining part file, which makes it a lot easier and saves saves you time, programming time, and, and also more accurate. So let's go ahead and post this out. So we have our setup one. Let's just do a do a search on setup here. So we have our setup one at the initial orientation, and we have our angle at zero. Let's go to the next setup. That's the right with our angles, and our next with the left and our angle. So basically, you can 
program it all in one part file. You can simulate it all in one part file, and you can post it all in one part file. Uh, if you don't want, you know, you don't have to post it all, or you can just post one of the setups if you want to do it that way. Uh, but it's all uh, the program is set up to do it all in one part file, save you time and increase your accuracy.